Hey guys, 10,000 subs, like, like a month. No idea what's going on, but I'm so grateful. I'm just gonna get straight into it, cause this could be a long one. So the other day I asked you guys for some questions, and I'm gonna build something awesome, I hope, while answering your questions again. So before I get started, if you've enjoyed my videos, this video in particular, please give it a like, cause it really helps the old YouTube algorithm be awesome to build a bigger community. Speaking of which, my uh, Discord is due to release. It might already be released by the time this comes out. But if you want to chat with fellow like-minded people, and even a bit of me, I'm going to be dipping in and out, head on over to my Discord channel. So, I'm going to head to the sandbox. Right, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the biggest damn level I can. Which is only 250 meters. So people that have been asking for mile long to scale bridges. Sorry, not gonna happen. <laughs> Terrain. Oh, frig me. What is that? Oh, I can't make you wider. Oh, god damn. Okay, so this one's gonna take a while. So, uh, <laughs> while I do this in the background, let's answer some questions. So, not Tyler says, a few questions. One, how tall are you? Six foot one. Two, water or toothpaste first? Water, toothpaste, water. Three, how do you feel about blowing up on subs? I would try not to blow up on anyone because it'll be very messy and I'll be dead. Four, could you tell us your name? Well, if you want to know my name, I do say it in the Human Fall Flat videos. I thought of another, what makes arches stronger than triangles? Well, the whole arches and triangles debate, I think people get a bit, I don't know, they kind of forget that an arch isn't a shape. I know it's a shape, but it's not a shape, if you know what I mean. So generally, arches, well, especially in Polybridge, are made up of lots of triangles. So if we're just going to go with shapes, the smallest shape you can have is a triangle. Three sides. I will explain while drawing. Oh, this is a horrible level. It's at night. Hang on. Let me just... Let's have pine mountains. I like pine mountains. Okay, so if we were to play this, triangle doesn't go anywhere. Like, three sides, they're all fixed. Quite strong. If we were to then next to it, draw a square. This probably won't fall down. Okay, so that was perfect. But if we imagine force was on here, so let's just say we did that, for example. It falls down. Do you see what I mean? Like, the triangle can't do that. It's fixed, whereas a square can. So if you were to have weight on top of these, like weight on top of there, well, anywhere on here, the triangle is not going to change shape. If you put it on a square, it will change shape. So, if I try and draw a pentagon. <laughs> bear with me, bear with me. So did you see that? Absolute carnage. Because there's more than three sides, so your angles aren't blocked. So when I say triangles are the strongest shape, I literally mean the strongest shape. Whereas an arch is made up of triangles, or it might be a single piece or whatever in the real world. That wasn't really your question, but hopefully that explains a lot of people's questions when they ask why are triangles the strongest shape? Anyway, I will go back to building my terrain. How far are we? We're not even halfway. <laughs> Ooh, and while I, while I remember it, guys, I'm going to be doing some more, like, realistic bridges, like my thousand sub special. So if you have any suggestions, bridges you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Be really intrigued to see what sort of bridges you want to see me try and recreate. Alright, next question. Dragonbreaker asks, How old were you when you became an engineer? Uh, I went through this in the 100 sub special. Well, I didn't actually. I said what year it was. And there was a lot of, a lot of comments on there asking, well, trying to work out how old I was. My kind of career order, if you like. So, left college when everyone does at 18, I guess. Um, I then had two years out before I went to university. I worked in a garden. I just wanted to earn some money, and it was a garden local to me. It was like a big old manor house, and they opened the garden to the public to walk around. I went there, learned a lot. I, it was really, although it was like a low-skilled job, I guess you'd call it, I really learned a lot about like getting on with people, talking to the public, uh, the value of money. Because jobs like that are really hard and they really make you appreciate like my job now where essentially I'm just sat at a desk. So if ever I'm having kind of a bad day and I'm like, this is really a stressful job, I don't enjoy it. I kind of look back to 
where you're kind of earning a hell of a lot more than you used to for doing a lot easier work. Although I'm using my brain these days, which might surprise you, it's a lot easier than the physical jobs. Then I went to uni, that was only three years. I got my bachelor's in civil engineering from the University of Swansea in Wales. That was another question. So sorry, person who asked that question, but you won't be getting your name flashed up. Actually, I'm gonna flash up your name now because I'm, I'm nice like that. So after I graduated from uni, I went straight into a civil engineering job and I've been at that job for eight years now. Oh, eight years this September. And I'm 31 now, so if you wanna work out ages, I gave you the start, I gave you the end, you can work that out. Right, so the next question, while I do a few of the, I'm gonna do that and then move them. Next question, Matthew Houseman. Horseman, Houseman. Uh, what's your debt from school looking like? Um, it's looking pretty similar to the day I left. In the UK, you don't really pay off your debt very quickly. It's kind of all done within your pay. You don't do it manually or anything. So it's only a very small percentage that comes out. It's basically like an extra tax that I'm paying. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. But I got to make this YouTube channel, so it's all worthwhile. <laughs> Next question. I am not going to be able to pronounce your name, probably. I will try. P-I-O. 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 P-I-O Moya. Are you rally engineer? Nope, I stick with the civil engineering, not the car rally engineering. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, next question. That Jarrett guy. Do you specialize in any specific aspect of engineering? Yes, I do. Now, I kind of didn't used to, like kind of at the start, I was a bit of a jack of all trades, master of none. But more recently, I've, well, basically I'm a drainage engineer at the moment. I'm kind of always involved in highway schemes, but um, if something needs draining, generally people come to me in my company. But yeah, not many drainage games out there, so I <laughs> won't be putting too much of my speciality into use on this channel, unfortunately. I just wanted to, this isn't a question, but I just wanted to bring up Ford and Spike's comment. Trust me, punny. You gotta love a pun, guys. I hope you love the puns. Well, I don't have many puns, I just say trust me in pretty much every video. Engineering humour for you. Right, next question. <laughs> I'm sorry, but your username is... Pretty ironic. The one and only legendary Jellyfish27. Would you consider streaming on Twitch? This is a tricky one. I'm, I don't know, I feel I'm a bit boring and not very good at talking. Hence my videos are quite well edited. I cut out a lot of ums, quite a lot of swearing, and a hell of a lot of humming the Polybridge theme tune. But yeah, I probably would give Twitch a go if I had a bit more time. But I don't, unfortunately. Maybe one day, but at the moment, no, sorry. Right, so I've got my level now. Let's just have a quick look. Oh yes, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna start the building, am I? Yes, I am. Let's get rid of these shapes. I'm gonna get rid of those anchor points as well, because I think they will mess me up. Ooh, they're not very, that's not very good, is it? Yeah, and I don't want to beg or anything, but um, less than 10% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you haven't already and you're watching this and you think you might be into this sort of content, please just whack that button and uh, subscribe and you'll get notifications, if you turn them on, to see when my next video is out. Okay, next question. Sam Vason. Vason? Vason. I'm sorry about pronunci pronunciations. I am useless at the most part, at English, even though it is my native tongue, because I'm from England. What is a real life budget for a bridge? Okay, so I work on mainly... Oh god, I need an anchor point to build my first point. God damn it. Okay, so I mainly work on, as I said before, highway schemes. And a lot of them, it's kind of like, I don't know, a road, and there might be like one small bridge in the middle. And it might surprise you, but generally the bridges cost more than the rest of the roads. Like, they're so expensive. And I mean, in terms of a sort of, I don't know, rough cost, we're talking like millions. You'd be pretty lucky to get any sort of bridge under like a million pounds. Well, I guess maybe like pedestrian bridges, but if we're talking like road bridges or rail bridges, we're looking at like several hundred thousand minimum for like a really short span maybe. But yeah, for like main highway projects that I work on and stuff, it's the kind of structures that kind of drives the whole scheme cost. If you can bring the structures down, 
you can bring the whole budget down. Okay, that's looking like something. Oh no, is this going uphill? Bollocks. So yeah, Random Hammy has a question again. He had a question in the 100 sub special. Have you ever finished Polybridge 1? No, I haven't actually. Absolutely terrible of me, I know. It's on my to-do list. Maybe I'll do it on this channel one day. I'll finish my remaining levels. I don't know why, I just... I never got around to it. Right, so Grayson Sipe. Sorry if that popped. I proper peed then. No, I didn't pee. In oh, God damn. Grayson asks, do you want to do collaborations with other YouTubers? And if so, who? Well, funny you should mention that because if you keep your eyes peeled, there may be one coming up. No other news on that, but just keep your eyes posted. I might be up to something. Sneaking around with other engineers. Um, it's not aliens. I kind of, I don't think it'd sink to my level. Unfortunately. <laughs> if you want to go over there and make some noise and make it happen, that's cool with me. I don't mind mingling with uh, other celebs. Right, you might be able to see where this is going now. Yep, the stone walls are making a comeback, people. And you might be able to see where I'm attempting to end up. Oh god, the level disappears, it's so far away. Right, so Ali Khalid asks, What was the biggest project you worked on in real life? Well, depends what you call biggest. But if we're talking pure size based, which is a reasonable way to answer that question, I think. I worked on a project in Qatar in the Middle East. And it was a city, well, it was kind of a new city, if you like. So basically they've got desert there now. And basically they said to us, they want a new city. They've got however many residents they want to house them, to have shops, all that sort of stuff. Design it from scratch, which is pretty damn mental, but that's kind of how projects work out in the Middle East. It's very fast paced, so yeah. In terms of square area, I think it was three kilometers wide and eight kilometers long. Basically desert now, and at the moment I think they're building it currently. I did all the roads and drainage for this, and essentially we kind of just left building plots. So whoever, like some other company, can come along and design all the buildings to go in. Oh god, this is really far. I feel like my computer's tanking a bit on the frame rate already. Am I going to be able to do that in one go? <laughs> oh god, look at that. That's moving slow. Okay, so I've just got to get it so that red disappears next to the green. I don't know if you can see that. Eh, stupid frame rate. And I may as well, for shits and giggles, get rid of that anchor point and go the other way. Uh, okay, so next question. Alright, so Nutmeg Gaming asks, How do you like How do you like YouTube? And where do you think you'll take this channel? Um, I absolutely love YouTube. Hence, I'm doing it in my spare time. Oh no, I didn't pay attention. These are all up a bit. Right, flat earthers. This is proof. <laughs> the world curves. Because at this end, we're completely flush. And as we go along the polybridge world, you can see the world is curved, but my bridge is still straight. Bridge? My wall. So flat earthers, this is proof. <laughs> what more proof do you need? Uh, sorry, I got a bit distracted there. Yeah, love YouTube. And going back to the other question, where do you think you will take this channel? Uh, oh god, frame rate. It looks like a rail track. Let me just zoom in over here. Sorry, I'll, I'll answer this question quickly. <laughs> Where do you think you would take this channel? Oh god, it's crashed. No, we haven't crashed. Sorry, I keep interrupting myself. Where do you think you would take this channel? I would love to do YouTube, if I'm honest. I could, I like engineering, but it's not really been my proper passion. So yeah, I would love to do YouTube, but it's not going to happen. But if I can do it in my spare time and make videos you all love, that's awesome. And who knows, maybe the algorithm will keep being nice to me. <laughs> And uh, I'll beat PewDiePie, but let's not go there. Let's let's not plan too far ahead. <laughs> that was a joke before anyone thinks I'm getting ahead of myself with the crazy growth in my first few weeks. But yeah, thanks for the question. Good question, that. Ow! Ow! I hit my knee. All right, so let's uh, let's watch what happens here. Ooh, frame rate. That deer is just like, I don't like where this is going. All right, so annoyingly, I'm gonna have to delete all this. And try... Oh god. It's like back here. And try and follow the curve of the earth. 
Oh, it's still so far. How did I cock this up so badly? This is like the start. <laughs> oh, they all moved down. Anyway, while I do this, the next question is from Help Jack. What state would the world be in if every civil engineer designed bridges and structures like we do in Polybridge? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you've seen some of the uh, top people designing in Polybridge using spring cannons, <laughs> falling road, dangling road. Don't get me started on those. So yeah, I think the world would be a far less safe place for bridge users. <laughs> Basically, because it's all lumpy. What's going on? This is quite annoying. I didn't think it would be like this. Oh, it gives me plenty of time to answer more questions. <laughs> the eighth dwarf asks, "The eighth dwarf? I thought there was only seven. Do you make that was that wasn't even meant to be a joke. That was literally me thinking. Just by the way, <laughs> uh, do you make jokes all the time, even while working? There's a time and a place for joking, and most of the time, that time and place is while I'm at work." So yeah, I'd probably go a bit easy in like a client meeting, for example. But yeah, generally, I do make a lot of jokes. And I do draw a lot of dicks on people's works while they're not paying attention. That was actually one of the top skills I learned at university, actually. Which reminds me, I haven't done one in this video yet. I have to sneak one of them in somewhere, won't I? <laughs> Skeptical, what's your favourite Pringles flavour? This is tricky as anything. Is there a right answer? Tell you what, a flavour I really like actually, Texas barbecue. Like, it's good. I hope the rest of the world. It, yeah, actually, Pringles are quite international, aren't they? They're covered in uh, different languages and stuff. The packaging. Yeah, Texas barbecue. Really like that. But to be honest, I don't. I don't mind just a little, a plain one now and again. Ready sorted. Maybe for my million sub special, I'll do a Pringles tier list. What everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> So Jake asks, does real life engineering rules work in this game? Well Jake, if you go and look at my is Polybridge realistic video, um, I answer this in quite a lot of detail. So yeah, go watch that video. It should answer most sort of questions you might have. Why is this not working? I feel like there's probably a lot easier way of doing this. Next question, Lawrence G, what advice would you have for getting into engineering? Don't do it. No, I'm joking. Engineering, you want to you wanna be good at maths, and ideally a bit of physics. I didn't actually do physics for my A-levels. I did maths, chemistry, and design technology, and a bit of music. But yeah, if you're good at maths and you got a bit of common sense, you'll do fine in engineering, to be honest. And to be honest, I feel like maths is re it really is something you can learn. So if you don't think you're the best at it, like stick at it and keep, keep trying. You'll be surprised with how much you can learn if you really put your mind to it. But yeah, it's good engineering. There will always be jobs in it. Pretty much every country is short of engineers. So definitely a good career to pursue if you want job security. So Sponge Round, <laughs> Sponge Round asks, why did you decide to start making YouTube videos? That's quite a good question. I don't think anyone's asked that yet. So back in the day, as in like three years ago, I was part of a group YouTube channel and uh, it went pretty well. We didn't really get views or subs or anything, but we had great time making videos. They're really funny videos, to be fair. Probably only funny for us, because there's a lot of inside jokes and things. But really enjoyed them. That's where I learned all my kind of editing stuff, how to do thumbnails, that sort of stuff. But it didn't go anywhere. And of course, after a while, interest withered. Withered? Yeah, withered. So yeah, kind of always had that sort of passion to get back into it, but never really, well, Never really the time, or I didn't really know where to start, to be honest. And then COVID happened. I was working from home a lot more often, well, a lot more often, full time. So I gained all that kind of commuting time. So I had like an extra hour or two every day. And then Polybridge 2 came out and I was like, ah, oh, Polybridge 1 was awesome. Let's, let's have a go at this YouTube malarkey. And yeah, things just went from there. That's why I decided to do it. And I'm bloody glad I did, because it's awesome fun. And like, literally makes my day when people watch and comment stuff. So good. Ah, uh, don't click. My fingers just want to click on this. Like, I almost have no control. Alright, so... I have a very good channel, I swear. Asks. <laughs> nice username. What engineering project are you currently working on? And milk or cereal first? Uh, always cereal first. But the project I'm currently working on is quite a big one, actually. It's, um... In England, we have this monument called Stonehenge. You might have heard of it. 
Maybe I'll try and build that after this epic wall fail. But yeah, they're trying to make it a bit more natural. And uh, they're getting rid of a busy ass road right next to it. And we're putting that road into a tunnel. So when you're stood at Stonehenge in the future, there'll be no, no cars in sight, which will be pretty damn cool, if you ask me. But it's a lot of money. It's like a billion, 1.1, I think. It's billions. Well, not billions, but it's over a billion pounds worth to get this road into a tunnel. It's a quite a big project and I've, uh, I've been working on the drainage for it. So no, no bridges on that one. But yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. That's what I've been working on. All right, just in case you guys are wondering what the hell I've been doing for the last however long I've been doing this. <laughs> I'm trying to make a 10,000 node stone wall because the, the kind of, well, it was my first poly bridge video was the stone wall. It's, it's what got me out there. Um, and I was hoping for a longest wall and then like up here. I don't know how many nodes that is. But yeah, judging how... Oh no, I missed something there. But judging how much my game is slowing down already. I don't know if that's going to be possible. It's going to be one of those rustic stone walls. It's the Great China Wall. Why not? I'm building real monuments this week, guys. Oh, here's quite a good question then. Nick Buchanan, what do you like to do when you're not engineering or making YouTube videos? Uh, sleep, that is. <laughs> now, I'm not that busy doing YouTube. I'm one of those people that kind of has more hobbies than time and it's really frustrating because I don't really know how to fit everything I want to do in. Hence, if I could turn one of my hobbies into a job, that would be absolutely incredible. So come on, YouTube. So other things I like to do, I am very passionate about music. I've kind of always been in a band. Um, started off guitaring, but generally I'm a drummer these days. Oh god, this is a tank in my PC. So yeah, I've been drumming for like 15 years, and then guitar I've been doing about 18 years. In a band currently, I won't put details up because there's not a lot going on with that at the moment. Because of Covid, in case you didn't realise. And then also, over the winter months, I absolutely love snowboarding. I try and go at least once every year. It's a very expensive hobby, but yeah, I love it. Yeah, 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 asks, what's your favourite movie? My favourite film is quite a new one. Well, I say new, newish. It's uh, The Martian. Absolutely love it. I tend to watch all the sort of sci-fi, spacey films that are kind of verging on realistic. Really good, that. And actually, there's another film that was like, I think it's like an indie film or something called Moon. If you ever get the chance, watch that. It's only like, I think there's only like one person in it. Really like low budget, but it's damn cool. So yeah, check out Moon if you haven't. And if you haven't watched The Martian, definitely check that out as well. This is pointless. I've kind of already, oh, whatever, whatever. It's only for shits and giggles. It's not like you spent three hours of your day doing this, Matt. Jeremiah Goomby. <laughs> what a name. He asks, can you make a loop? Keep an eye out on some of my upcoming normal non-milestone polybridge videos because there's a level where you have to. So yeah, something to look forward to and there is a loop. Right, so Lyndon asks, what kind of maths do you use most for engineering? This might surprise you because I think a lot of the time kids kind of at school are like, why am I learning this? I'll never use this in real life. But the sort of maths that I use most often is actually trigonometry. It's uh, really useful for like working out lengths of triangle. Like, I, I do like a triangle, not gonna lie, but you tend to break things down into triangles. Because triangles are easy, there's only three sides, but quite useful for working out a length or an angle or something that you don't know, but you know some other information. Right, so I think we are there. So the question is, can I build up? Because <laughs> this is tanking me, like, this is me trying to rotate. Frame rate's not good. Lads, not gonna lie, but this will will be built. So I wonder, this is gonna absolutely kill my computer, isn't it? Oh, the mouse is so slow. Oh no, don't click. I swear my right hand just tries to like, oh God, I clicked. Fuck. Oh no, I didn't, no I didn't. All right, select everything. Zoom in to, where's the middle? Copy. If I can do it this way without looking at everything on screen and just hope the rest of it works, I might be okay. Oh god, there's a lot of crosses. There you go, click, click. I've clicked. We are waiting. While we're waiting to see if my click works, let's have the next question. <laughs> right, so, Beth Science Words asks, basically, where do I live? I, well, I'm English. I'm originally from the southeast of England, but currently living in Wales. 
So yeah, my accent is probably southeastern. It's not it's not Welsh because I haven't been here for too long. Love a Welsh accent though, not gonna lie. Right, so Ikop asks, is there a project that you immediately go, oh no, to? Uh, yeah. We designed a um a new metro sort of like a tram line in uh, Manchester, the Trafford Park Line. It was called. It was shortened to TPL, so Trafford Park Line, which is the name of the tram route. And although it was a really good project, it was a bit brutal, like long working hours, that sort of stuff. So we used to refer to it as TP Hell by the end of it, because it was a bit brutal, like a lot of long, long days working on tram lines. Ugh. Glad that's over. Weeb Trash asks, how does it feel to be blessed by the mythic YouTube algorithm? It feels amazing, I'm not gonna lie. I completely understand that I'm super lucky, like having done YouTube before. Don't get me wrong, I really appreciate that this is mainly luck, but I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna roll with it. And also the YouTube algorithm hasn't been 100% good to me. It took my damn 100 sub special down, but it's back. I went through YouTube help and they got it back for me. Uh, my computer seems to have crashed. I think I clicked, but I'm not sure. I don't know whether to wait for it or to try and move my mouse. I'm gonna move my mouse up and see what happens. Okay, we might be... <laughs> we might be at the limit of this stone wall, unfortunately. That's a shame. I'll give it a few seconds, minutes to catch up, and I'll do another question. Jeff the Boss 636 asks... Oh, oh, it did it, it did it. Oh. I'm just going to bung one on top as well, if I can. How fun is being a civic engineer? Uh, I don't work on cars. I'm not a rally engineer. I'm not a Honda civic engineer. Civil engineering is my thing. And yes, I appreciate that was a typo. Civil engineering, it's probably the like, jack of all trades engineering. Like you literally get to work on a bit of everything. So for me, that's, I like variety. So that's what I like. All right, I've clicked again. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Joshua asks, what's your least favorite thing about being a civil engineer? To be honest, it's, it's a bit profit driven. That's kind of the one thing that's kind of making me fall out of love with engineering. It's not just about building the best thing. It's all about how much profit can you make while building something that satisfies the client. I don't know, it's just, that's my least favorite thing. It's profit driven. But then businesses are, that's how the world works. Right, I think we might be dead on this one. <laughs> it's been a good few minutes now. I'm gonna click again. We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll leave it a few more minutes. I'll come back in a bit. All right, I've just come back and everything's green. So it looks like it's built something. I've pressed escape. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fill in. Oh, I can. Oh, it might be okay, you know? If I just stay zoomed in, I can't tank my computer. Oh God, there's holes everywhere. There's holes everywhere. Oh my god, what happened here? I'm worried if I don't fill in the holes, it's gonna fall down and that will kill my computer. Right, so that's as far as I'm getting with this. There's a few little holes that I can't fix because the nodes are too close together. <laughs> but there you have it. There is the Great Wall of China <laughs> in Polybridge. Let's play this and just Watch my frame rate tank. 17.30. Ooh, she might be holding then. I don't think she's broken. Oh. <laughs> the rotate is dangerous. So yeah, there she is. Absolutely tanking my computer and probably one of the most pointless ways you can spend three hours of your life. But it's done, it's a, it's a little bit holy. That's just so we can uh, have a look through if we want. I'm gonna try and zoom into this end and just see what sort of view this deer has. Cause he stood there, he's watched the whole construction of this bridge. He's watched each stone be laid on top of each other. He's seen the gaps been missed. Oh my God, this is painful, come on. Right, I'm gonna try and change the angle, but this might have to do. Uh... Oh God. Why did that happen? Okay, this is absolutely carnage. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get out of here, annoyingly. Let's just zoom out and just take one final look at the biggest stone wall in Polybridge. It's so long, it's so much longer than I thought. I'm not gonna count them, but I reckon there might be more than 10,000 nodes. Right, on to the next challenge. 
Right, I'm literally gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop this. Cause this is it's dead. We've we got donut of death, people. Donut of death. I was just trying to quit the level. All right, sorry, Polly Bridge, you're done. So here's a stone wall I made earlier. It's absolutely tanking my computer, even still. But I'm gonna turn this into another monument, if you like. Right, so the Super Gamer PL, he asks, what editing software do you use and with what software do you make your thumbnails with? So I use Adobe for everything. So I've got, oh shit, what happened there? So I've got Adobe Premiere Pro and I've got Adobe Photoshop because they're damn good. And that's just what I've always used. Right, next question. Owen say to say, sa, say. Uh, what was your final year project in uni? This will probably bore the hell out of most of you, but for me it was super interesting. I did something that hadn't been done at the uni before and it was kind of working out the various material properties of something called Pycrete. Um, and Pycrete is, it's kind of like a concrete, but it's made out of purely ice and sawdust. So you take water, you mix sawdust in, and then you freeze it. So it's a really like sustainable way to make kind of temporary buildings, say like in the Arctic. Um, and then World War II was when it first came around, because they were going to make a massive aircraft carrier out of it, because it's really cheap to make, and it's really strong. But yeah, the thing with that material, the kind of property that kills it, is something called creep. So over time, as the force is on the material, it slowly deforms. So say you were to, I don't know, make a building out of it, it would slowly kind of sag and sink into itself. So not the best material, but yeah, I looked at all sorts of things and it's it's almost as strong as concrete, like a weak concrete. And I tried different sorts of wood pulp, so I tried sawdust, I tried newspaper, shredded normal paper, all sorts of things. Cool. This one's a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, but this is Stonehenge and my tunnel that I've just built is gonna be under here. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, Stonehenge will play this level and we'll see if it dies. Oh no, it holds itself. So there you have Stonehenge in Polybridge. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully that's not too lame. I'll tell you what actually, I could make it look a little bit better by doing that a bit. Nah, it's still pretty shit, isn't it? <laughs> Ah <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. We, we have fun. We have fun, don't we guys? Right, so on to the final level. Um, right, so another question. Danilo Romero asks, Where did you get your profile picture from? It looks like it came from one of those instructional videos no one listens to. <laughs> uh, you're not far wrong. So as I said, I used to have a YouTube channel. And uh, one of the guys was quite good at drawing stuff. So he drew all of us in cartoon form. And yeah, I just whacked a hard hat on it and that's me um annoyingly i've kind of over lockdown grown a massive beard so if anyone's good at fan art and that sort of stuff it would be awesome if you could um do an update for me i want a beard otherwise i'm gonna have to try and get into paint <laughs> i don't think paint is the tool for stuff like that <laughs> next question throwaway account nice username when is the 100k special i'm gonna say the 100k special be when I have a hundred thousand subscribers and you haven't asked me when I think that will be so I'm not going to answer that sorry oh we're nearly there flip oh no donut no please I'm gonna leave this running and just hope it fix itself but a donut is usually a bad sign oh the donut's gone good news I don't know <laughs> okay this is looking good guys i'm gonna try and get up there and as the frame rate is so unbearable to watch at the moment i will answer another question gay bar q a how was your day today my day was good i just got back from a little holiday down to cornwall which is the southwest of england and it's a lovely place it's where all the beaches and stuff are um, and that's why i was away from the computer and why this video took an extra week to come out than it probably should have done but i honestly did not expect to get 10,000 subs that quickly so sorry about that but yeah today it was my first day back at work and obviously at the moment work is still working from home so not bad a few emails to catch up on that sort of stuff but all good thanks thanks for asking joshua e asks are you married if so, how's it going for you? No, not married. I have a girlfriend that you may have 
heard me mention in another video. I think we've been together like 10 years. So I probably should get around to that, but it's not really my thing if I'm honest. So we'll see. We will see. Okay, click. I gotta not move the mouse and just hope it works. Churros McGee asks, how many projects and bridges have you worked on? And can you show us or name the bridges? Uh, no named bridges. I haven't, as I say, kind of gone away from, oh god, we got X's now. Kind of moved away from the cold structural side of thing. I'm more of a drainage guy now. But the bridges I did work on previously, they're kind of just motorway crossroads, if you like. So you don't really, they don't have names, they're not very interesting. It would just look like your bog standard bridge that you drive under on a motorway. So yeah, sorry about that, not very interesting from my end. Cracked eggs. If you were to become a cow, what is the first thing you would do? I would probably moo. I've always been one for mooing. I like a good moo. <laughs> right, I don't know if I can place this. Maybe because my mouse is in the budget area? Man, I have no idea what the frame rate is, but... This is taking a long time. But still, three stone structures. And this one will probably be the most impressive. So it's worth it. Just gotta be patient. Come on, X's, disappear. Oh no, there's X's everywhere. Oh, we're nearly there. Again, I really hope people make it to the end of this video, because I feel like I did all the boring stuff at the start, and the most impressive one is at the end again. I have a bad habit of doing this. Oh, I'll put it on the thumbnail. At least people see it that way. <laughs> right, click, but don't move. Oh god. Did you see that flash? That's not a good sign. My arm's aching from not moving, so I'm going to click again. Click. Ah, oh, Damn it! Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna move my mouse, I'm just gonna wait. I'll go make a cup of tea. That worked last time I did Polybridge. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's done it! I'm back! And it's done it! Right, I need to... escape. Oh, we're gonna have the pyramids! And I didn't need any slaves to help. Right, so I'm gonna work my way up here. Oh god, deleting takes ages. It may good, this is taking a long time. These take so long and they know I don't have time to do this. Uh, 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 uh. The question is, will this support itself? Or is it so big that it's just gonna collapse? I've literally spent like half an hour, 40 minutes just deleting <laughs> nodes. Good times. Right, the final node, I've pressed delete. Now we just wait for about 30 seconds, and then it'll be deleted. Ooh, and this one really kept me waiting. It's been like a good minute now. <laughs> Come on. Imagine if this, like, crashed my PC. This was... Ah, oh, there you go, there we go. So now we can zoom out and see... our pyramid. Right then, guys and girls, place your bets. Is the pyramid gonna hold? Is this gonna be worthwhile? <laughs> Oh god, I think we all know where this is going, don't we? Wouldn't be a milestone video without an epic fail. Right, let's see. Press play. Ooh! Oh, it's holding! Wait. What's that noise? Oh god. Oh god. Duh. All that work. Oh, I hope I've had time to get a screenshot of the thumbnail. Wow. This is like a frame every two, three seconds. <laughs> I really hope this is like recording. I'm scared my computer's tanking from this. It's making some noise, I'll tell you that. No smoke yet though, so... <laughs> oh, the frames are slowing down. Dramatically. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I might speed up the video for you guys, so you can watch it get destroyed at a somewhat normal rate. And I'll just sit here for half an hour while it kills itself. Right, so I think it stopped collapsing now. So yeah, that was it guys, that was a 10,000 sub special. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my absolute failure of a pyramid. Considering the amount of effort this took, it was pretty poor if you ask me. <laughs> Terrible wall that did nothing. Wasn't very tall. Really terrible Stonehenge. 
and then a pyramid that can't even hold itself up. But yeah, good day. G good day in the office, don't you think, boys? So despite this episode not being nearly as impressive as I wanted it to, <laughs> I do just want to say thanks for every single subscription, every single like, every single view. It means so much, and it's awesome that we're growing so quick. And uh, yeah, as I said before, Discord soon, if not already. Come have a chat. Let's make this an awesome community. Hopefully, well not hopefully, it would be quite cool to keep doing these. But for a little while at least, no more milestone videos. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but I think the next one is a long way off now. I'll try and up my game for the next one, big time. It might even be a different game, who knows? Depends how far in the future we are. But yeah, if you got this far, thanks so much. No blimps on this one, because I've already spent far too long and I was just worried the game might crash if I try and add anything else to it. Right, see you next time guys. Cheers! Do 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 do!